Hello. Target is over there in our 11 o'clock, the other side of that hill with the radio tower. We've got some vehicles on the road. Know that this side is clear because we've already attacked but it uh, doesn't pay to be complacent because the enemy can move their anti-air and frequently do and start climbing up there So somewhere on that road down there, I think we've got some vehicles. There's also enemy AAA that's killed me a couple of times. We might have moved on by now, so I might need to follow the road down a bit. Ah, there they are. Can you see them? So I'm gonna gain some altitude and come at them from the other side of the valley. Oh. I'm going to swap to the other seat now as well. doing with his hand there. set. I think I can hit him from this direction. The trees might get in the way. I don't know how smart the missile is. There we go. Got to keep the laser on him. So I might get some anti-aircraft fire here. Splash. Okay, let's break off the attack. Well, that was a good hit as well. People are saying that it's easier to fly now. I, I think it's always been easy to fly. But then I'm a helicopter person, so perhaps I'm a bit biased. I've got my, my joystick set up so the tiniest little inputs will give me uh, flight authority. I've got my... Um, 
Verpil joystick settings. So the the um, cams are quite tight as well, which gives the illusion of aerodynamic feedback. Again. Oh, my thing's not centered. Splash. All right. Oh, I've got some. What triple A company? I don't know if I do. Or Shack? Should I say Shack? It's a grand target. Oh, some shoot shooting up in there. Where was that from? I've been shot down a few times in this valley. I'm being a bit reckless. Like you can give the uh, helicopter a lot more torque than you used to be able to. Well, that's shrugging me, that's close. So there's something uh, still alive over there. Gets out the binoculars. Also I am flying with the Verpil Collective, which once I got used to it is also a game changer for me. Ah, there he is. Just the other side of that bridge. So perhaps I can get to him from the other side of the valley. Quite, not quite sure where he is, but uh, come at him from the other side. Hopefully, I can get the pod onto him and stay out of range. Ah, there's another vehicle. Right, let's come at it from this angle. Do we set the slew up a bit faster? Come on. Oh, okay. There we go. Hopefully that will hit before I get shot down. Splash, okay. Let's get the hell out of here. An RTV. Was close. Right, 
back to the pilot. I think we might need to change our flight pants after this mission. Yeah, I kind of like this little agile helicopter. Where the FARP is. I'll find it. I think after the update, the uh, controls are super easy to see compared to what they used to be like. I used to struggle to um, read some of these. You know, they were a lot less clear than in some of the other aircraft I fly. Yeah, we fly this, for this mission loads, but there's lots to do with different aircraft, so... Uh, Sometimes we're in A-10s, sometimes we, we're in F-A-18s, sometimes we are in Hueys, depending on what we're doing. Slow down. Okay, I can feel the vibrations through my jet seat, there's on the shudders. Let's bring it in real slow. Oops. Gotta not over use the controls because I've got very kind of tight curves on this. So all my control is sort of in the about five millimeters from center. So far so good. It's usually in these last couple of feet where it all gets a bit squirrely. But this time, I think that's almost a good landing. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Gazelle fun.